right, so it is uh, 7.16 tonight. Didn't end up getting my nap on the 19th. Um, but that's the way it goes. Um, so thankfully last night slept really, really good. Um, I was able to get up early and just handle a bunch of the crap with this uh, camper. It should have been fixed, it's not fixed. Uh, anyways, we got a lot of stuff done today. So, I am uh, driving to work. I'm going to be uh, going on duty, going to Berlin, New Mexico tonight. Um, it's... Uh, 346 miles so it is a long one uh, looks like right now I'm uh, gonna be on a stack train and a stack train for those of you that don't know is just that it is the double stack intermodal containers just a whole big old train full of them this one tonight is not showing a mega train however we work as a first in first out so I can end up getting swapped to a different train and mine runs around someone or some a train runs around mine and comes in first. Um, not a big deal. Some people get pissed over the trains, but is what it is. It's a train. I'm glad I'm getting called for it. It's a, uh, it's a good run as far as uh, the money goes. And uh, yeah, I uh, going to work. So, most likely, most of the time going to Berlin, no matter what train you get, it is at least a 12-hour day. Um, you, some trains, you got to stop and pick up motors over at a stop between uh, Amarillo and Friona. Sometimes you'll have cars to drop off in Clovis. And then usually it is smooth sailing for the most part. Until you get uh, right outside Berlin, and that's where uh, you generally kind of have to wait in line to get into Berlin most of the time. Uh, from there, we'll go to the hotel and uh, rest up. Lately, it seems like Berlin's been turning pretty fast. Normally, this is one of those that we'd be in the hotel for at least 20 hours or so, um, but I don't know. We'll we'll see it's one of those things you can try to predict but doesn't always happen that way so anyways yeah we're off to Berlin see you guys at the terminal all right so we're at the depot I can't record in there uh, it's part of the agreement but I'm in my truck right now um, so anyways gonna go in here I try to get here about 10 minutes before so uh, get a feel for everything that's going on, get paperwork uh, together so that if the train rolls in right at my on-duty time, it's good to go and I'm ready to walk out there. And that way the inbound crew doesn't have to wait for us and because by the time you get done, you're ready to get off the train. So it's kind of scratching your brother's sister's back. I mean, it's 10 minutes of my time. So what? I'm going to get up here. So if it rolls in right then or even a little bit early, I can jump on it. Those guys can tie up and shag ass out of here. So what I do, once I get here, I take my stuff in. Um, I go look at the board, see where the train's at, go print off my call sheet, my work orders, or work orders, my will, uh, all the paperwork for my train, and then my general track bulletins tells me slow orders, work orders, all that kind of stuff get all that together make sure my trains in compliance see if we have any pickups or set outs to do or if there's any issues that kind of thing um and then look at my gtbs and kind of get a feel for what's out there slow orders work orders you know form b's that kind of thing um and then grab my signal sheet as well um even though we're not required to use those or turn those in anymore still use them because they are a great cheat sheet to have for radio frequencies um, siding links you know which channel to be on all kinds of good information on there and uh, you know of course if PTC goes out you really want to have one of those so 
you're not having to do everything by hand on uh you know keeping track of signals what's next is an intermediate is an absolute um things that can make a difference between getting in a big wreck and going home safely so always be prepared we'll talk more once i get to Berlin or who knows we might have a chance to chat a little bit uh on the way there if we end up stopping so we'll find out see you guys soon so it's about 3 20 in the morning now, off our train, tied down, we went about 268 miles of 346. Okay. And, yeah, we're on another train to finish out the rest of the trip. And, uh, you know what? I'll talk about when we get to the hotel. So, yeah, there we go. Great railroading adventures. Things that make you go, what the hell? Well, it is about 6.41 in the morning. Uh, finally made it to the hotel here in Berlin. Got here and they got slammed, so it was a wait for rooms. But we're here. Our humble little abode. So yeah, we're here. What a crazy, crazy night. We had our train and two different trains just to get here because we tied ours down. And uh, yeah, anyways, good times. So I'm gonna get unpacked. We'll talk about this whole trip later. Um, maybe when I wake up, but right now, worn out, I need sleep. Be a good chance for sleep without having to fuss about the camper, any of that stuff. So yeah, that's, that's our room here. Not bad, not too shabby. Definitely been in worse, been in better, but yeah, for the most part, the crew here at this hotel where we stay at seems to do do pretty good i don't have any complaints so anyways i'm gonna get unpacked shower hit the rack i'll see you guys in a few hours all right so it is 5 p.m mountain time on uh, november 20th i'm at the away from home terminal here in Berlin. Uh, looks like I may be getting called out um, uh, Hopefully in a few hours Yesterday was one of those long days left Amarillo on a stack train um, It went 260 something miles told we needed to tie our train down in a siding so we did we jumped on another train which was a key train with the deadhead crew we had with us from leaving Amarillo, got on that train, got outside of Berlin, and I guess that train was gonna sit outside Berlin for a while. They had zero vans. They said anywhere between Berlin and Needles, California available to come get us, which don't worry, they're not sending a van from Needles to come get us, that's way too damn far. And uh, so a green train stopped and picked us up after picking up another crew to shuttle us into the terminal. Um, thankfully, those nights are not the typical night, but they definitely make for long, frustrating trips. Um, I know a lot of people like will probably complain about it and say, oh, that's BS. Guys, that's railroad life, man. It sucks sometimes. But, you know, is what it is. Railroading is all about adapting and overcoming. Sometimes you're on the short end of the stick. Sometimes you're getting beat with the long end. Uh, is what it is. Got to the hotel in the poor hotel. Uh, had absolutely been getting their teeth kicked in. So we had to wait about an hour or so uh, for our room 
they got our room, got a clean room, and uh, I went straight to bed. I was tired. And uh, not only tired because of working, um, we didn't have a bad night, we didn't have a hard night, just long, and nighttime makes it a lot harder to stay awake because uh, they're on the train and when you get out into the territories outside of cities, it uh, when you get outside uh, cities and whatnot, you end up uh, just having your headlight and it creates this tunnel. And then you have the drone of the motors and uh, you find yourself drinking lots of caffeine, um, getting up, walking around, um, all kinds of things because uh, Believe it or not, those those motors they get droning, get to droning uphill and chugging along and rocking back and forth. Uh, it's almost getting like rock to sleep. So, got to be proactive on the staying awake gig. It is uh, gets interesting, especially when you uh, are already tired from dealing with home stuff. But it's part of the gig. It's our responsibility. It's our job. Um, but you know thankfully i was working with a good engineer he's uh, a lot of fun good uh good guy he likes to talk so that always makes the long trips a lot easier so now what am i doing um, i'm waiting for my call and um about to be working on some videos so this is day two we're rolling into day two um, i still haven't figured out how i'm gonna put the videos together just yet never really done the vlog journal thing but anyways um last i saw it looked like we might be lined up for a z train here in a few hours maybe um be nice but just happy to get a train to go home and then to get home and i think uh you know i was talking to taylor it looks like we might be getting ready to move back into the camper uh, i got one last round of inspections after the repairs from yesterday um so we'll see we'll see so uh yeah i didn't bring my tripod or nothing with me um i think i should have brought it for the gopro or the camera uh, maybe do some time lapses but if you guys got any suggestions or anything like that let me know and uh yeah i'm gonna figure out how i'm gonna separate these videos because a lot of the video and the content's just kind of run together and i need to figure out how i want to put it all together make it look nice make it look seamless um my microphone that i do use for these things though uh is no longer working it has a god-awful background sound so gotta figure that out you gotta figure out an audio fix for that so anyways guys y'all have a good one and uh hopefully we'll see you guys when uh, we get get the call